Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. Today we have this beautiful Alfa Romeo Giulia, and it is a Veloce Spider 1600. Um, so I think it is a 1965. I'm storing it for somebody, and I need to go get a brake light switch for my E30. So I'm going to run to the auto parts store and get a brake light switch. In the meantime, we'll check out this car and I'm just kind of look at it. I'm going to take it for a quick spin. Uh, the auto parts store is only about five minutes away. So should be a good little quick trip and see what this car kind of feels like. I'm not going to push it or anything, but I did want to see what it feels like. I'm supposed to start the vehicles every so often. So we're going to hop in. Uh, and I haven't driven it before, so I actually don't know where any of the gears are or anything. I have started it a couple times. Let's hope the battery has some juice. Let's see. Okay, fuel pump's working. Here we go. We'll let it warm up. This car has definitely seen better days, but it does need to get um, a drive in every once in a while. Let's see if I can find the seat belt. Oh, it's a lap belt only, folks. All right, let's take her out. Here we go. A lot more quiet out here. Needs a little double clutching, it seems like. Wow, this thing is small and light. Woohoohoo! This thing feels pretty good. We are at the auto parts store. Yeah, this thing is very light. Definitely needs double clutching to uh, get into the next gear and a little heel toe to downshift, but I definitely like it. It's super light and small. It's way smaller than I was thinking. Um, but let's go get our auto part and I'll get back with you in just a second. All right, guys, I just got my auto part. It's a brake light switch. I had to wear a mask because of coronavirus, I guess. Uh, this is Import Direct. It's for my Spec E30 brake light switch. Let's see. I usually bring the other part to make sure it's right. This is definitely cheaper than the BMW part, but let's get back to the Julia. Yeah, I really liked driving it here. It was nice and small, kind of boaty feeling just for the uh, size of it, it felt a lot, it felt bigger than it actually is just because of the spring rate, I think was just very soft. So it took a lot of time to transfer the weight from one side to another, but uh, let's drive it back uh, to my house and uh, I'll see if there's anything else I learn about it and enjoy the test drive.
Okay, so that was my test drive to the auto parts store and back. Let's pull the handbrake here so the car doesn't roll. And I like it. I would say the floor mounted pedals, I've driven old Porsches that have the floor mounted pedals before. Uh, these were kind of hard to get used to for heel towing, but um, that would just be something that would take more drive time. Looked like the temperatures came up pretty well. And this door, they're probably all like that. It's an alpha, so that makes sense. Uh, everything actually dries pretty good. It definitely needs suspension bushings and uh, the spring rates are actually kind of soft for how small the car is, it feels like. So, um, but it's probably more of a cruiser than a performance machine, which makes sense. And it is uh, over 50 years old at this point. So um, we are going to leave it with that. I have a Lotus Elise video coming out that I drove. I should have put that out already, but I've been having a lot of things to do since starting back work. And uh, we'll get that video out probably next one after this. And uh, make sure you subscribe, and I'll see you soon.